Thank you for watching. I'm Ricky Saias. The city of El Paso has received a fair amount of attention lately. Now the city is gearing up for a visit from President Donald Trump. The president is anticipated to make a stop on the border on Monday, February 11th. City officials from different departments are preparing for the POTUS's visit to the border region. We've shared with you how El Paso continues to get praised across the country. During the last 12 months, the city has been named an All-America City. We've won the 2018 Governor's Award for Performance Excellence Achievement. Forbes reported we are number one in the lowest cost of living, and El Paso's low crime rates continue to be touted locally, regionally, and nationally. To help tell the world about our award-winning community, El Paso Mayor D. Margo has appeared in several national media outlets. He's been on CBS's Face the Nation, NPR's Morning Edition, and recently he spoke at the U.S. Conference of Mayors, which aired on C-SPAN. But I think we're starting to be noticed in a very positive way, and uh, I'm trying to do my best as mayor to clarify these misperceptions and misconceptions out there about us and the fact that we are a large and burgeoning area with a tremendous population, a tremendous work ethic and culture, and that, uh, and that we are the safest city in the United States. We are the largest U.S. city on the Mexican border. If you want to talk about immigration, you want to talk about trade, you come to El Paso. Meanwhile, people who live in Northeast El Paso recently heard all about the current and planned improvements in their district. District 4 Representative Dr. Sam Morgan addressed residents during the first state of the Northeast at El Paso Community College Trans Mountain Campus. Rep. Morgan talked about current quality of life and economic development improvement projects in that part of town, as well as what's to come. Holding an event like this is absolutely critical because no matter how, how much we try, it is very hard to communicate with a district that is made up of 91,000 people and get the message out to as many people. But what we hope the effect of this is, is that the 200 people that showed up here today, they go out and they tell two people, and they tell two people, and they're excited about what's happening in their community. If you missed it, you can see the State of the Northeast Address on both the City of El Paso and Rep. Morgan's Facebook pages. Even more recognition, this time Alaska Airlines is introducing travelers to the Sun City with an article in its in-flight magazine called Alaska Beyond. The article, titled Historical El Paso, describes the city as a cultural center. It highlights the El Paso Museum of Art, the El Paso Museum of History, and Waco Tanks as places to visit. The article is posted on the city's Facebook page if you want to read it. Alaska Airlines announced in September it would begin service in El Paso starting February 19th. Elsewhere, you can help decide what large-scale federally funded projects the city should start building during a family-friendly event in downtown. Ten community development block grant funded large-scale public facilities are being considered for funding. Residents can give their input by voting and selecting their preferred project from nonprofit organizations and other government agencies who submitted project proposals. The Community and Human Development Department will then use the information presented to City Council who will then select which projects to fund. The free polling input event is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, February 9th at San Jacinto Plaza. With the flu season still in full force, the El Paso Fire Department is extending its vaccinations for health by adding more dates this month. El Paso and Hudspeth County residents who don't have insurance or Medicaid can get a flu shot and health screening free of charge. The next clinic is February 13th at the Wellington Chu Senior Center. For more information, visit ElPasoFire.org. If you want to see cute, then you have to pay a visit to the El Paso Zoo and check out the new baby, Sai Mang. Your City in 5 media specialist, Jonathan Romo, introduces us to baby Deja. You know, El Paso Zoo uh, is very excited to have this young Simon join us here. Uh, she was actually rejected by her mother at a partner zoo, and our association uh, works together so closely that a group of geneticists and scientists felt it was really good to have our two uh, adult female uh, Simangs raise this young. Deja Vu is the Simang. She's uh, five months old. And usually these animals are, they live in Thailand, Indonesia, and Malaysia. The Simang is not a monkey. The Simang is actually a lesser ape, and they're from the Gibbon family. So they're more like in the family of orangutan, chimpanzee, gorilla, that type. Yeah, the Pittsburgh Zoo staff actually did an amazing job at, at you know, raising Deja from 
three days old to now. And it was very important for us to get Deja at a very young age so that we can start, you know, transitioning her to her Simang family. The keeper staff is raising her right now, showing her the ropes, literally, showing her how to climb, how to, uh, you know, swing, brachiate, those type of things, because when she gets introduced to her foster mom and we send her out on exhibit with her, she's gonna have to know how to get around her surroundings. To have this opportunity to help with the genetic diversity and the genetic livelihood of a highly endangered Southeast Asian species um, is what we do every day. This is just a really good example of it. What a wonderful addition to the El Paso Zoo. Thank you, Jonathan, for that video. And you can check out Baby Deja for yourself every day from 11 to noon at the El Paso Zoo. We're out of time on this edition of Your City in Five, but stay up to date with city happenings by visiting epconnect.today. We're also on social media, and of course, you can always catch us on City TV. With Nigel Sherbin, who's behind the camera, I'm Ricky Saias. We'll see you next time on Your City in Five.